Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about how do you realize your dreams and aspirations, whatever you want in your business. If you are a, an entrepreneur, you want to have certain dreams uh, to accomplish. So how do you do it? So let's uh, go step by step. So we have five steps to get, um, your, get to your dreams. What are the five steps? So let's uh, dive right into it and understand these five steps to get whatever you want to accomplish in your life, okay? So as the uh, picture depicts, okay, it all starts with a dream, okay? And then the dream has to be converted into goals and then goal has to be broken down into an actionable plan. After you have a plan, then you take action. And after you take action, then it comes into reality. Your dreams comes into reality. Okay, so that is oh, the simple step, five steps. Let's get a bit deep into it to understand the, uh, you know, how do you accomplish those, uh, you know, what are the five steps in detail? Okay, first thing is uh, dreams, okay? Dreams may be vague and dreams without uh, any kind of a plan is a fantasy, okay? So that means dream first has to be crystallized. And how do you crystallize the dreams? There are two things you could do to crystallize your dreams is to write it down. That's the power in the written down dreams, okay? So whatever you want to accomplish, let's, uh, you know, a, a million dollar turnover, or you want to have a phenomenal lifestyle of your own, um, you know, or you want to provide a certain thing for your community, whatever that is, write it down. Second thing is a vision board, okay? So that means um, your mind or your eye should be able to see and that, uh, you know, minds uh, should start to see what you want to accomplish, okay? And that is through vision board, okay? Have a board, uh, you know, vision board is something very uh, simple. You can put it all together um, have a board, uh, you know, a cork board and just pin all your dreams, just cut out your dreams, uh, you know, the pictures of your dreams and just put it down. For example, you want to go on a holiday to somewhere in an exotic location, just cut it out and, you know, uh, cut out from a magazine or, you know, any sort of picture you have, just put it down, uh, you know, pin it in, in that uh, pin board. Okay, so that is a vision board. Crystallizing your dream. So that means in vaguely whatever you have in your mind. So now you are able to see it and you're writing it down. That is the process of crystallization. The second thing is quantifying your dream. So how do you quantify? What does it mean to be quantified? That means when your dream becomes a goal. Okay, what is quantification? That means when you put a date, when do you want to accomplish those say, though that uh, dream whatever you have if you want to go somewhere you want to have that um, uh, turnover specific turnover you want to accomplish so whatever that is if uh, we put a date to it uh, by this time on this uh, this year this month i want to accomplish that so that becomes a goal so that means a quantification that's when how much okay if you want to get into an exotic location that's your dream or to have a house a humongous mansion if that is what you want to accomplish how much would it cost okay so when you quantify that that means so the price tag you to put in so then your mind starts to understand that okay now that was my dream and this is what uh, uh, is uh, the money what it would be needed to uh, you know um, accomplish that or to buy that or uh, this is when I want to realize my dream you know so this is when and how much and the third thing is planning again as we discussed earlier the dream or a goal without a date uh, is just a fantasy and that you know the planning you know is a process whereby what after we have a concrete date then we just uh, break it break it down okay to a yearly monthly and a daily activity so that means what exactly is needed to get to that to realize that dream or to, to realize that goal now okay so bringing it down for, you know um, uh, just breaking it down to a daily activity it has to be brought down to a daily activity i should be clearly i should know what exactly i want to do today so that is so that you know i have a clear action plan so that means the planning you know hourly uh, sorry, sorry sorry daily planning monthly planning and yearly planning and again with a daily plan if I could bring it down to an hourly next hour, this is what my I want to do. So that means the mind is clear, focused. It knows what exactly is needed. 
And the next thing is action, okay? There is nothing ever happens without we taking action, okay? A lot of time I've seen a few people, even myself as well, I would plan everything and I would take action. So the action is extremely needed, okay? So the action, planning, whatever we plan, until I, until I, or unless I don't, uh, unless I know what exactly I want to do, I will not do that. So first thing is the planning. Next is the action. I need to take the action. So when you are taking the action, okay, for your dreams, towards your dreams, so very, very important that uh, you will be fighting against other priorities of yours, okay? What does that mean? So that means, uh, do I have to get the kids, uh, you know, from school or uh, do I have to, uh, you know, answer this call or do I have to uh, go and get this thing done? So, so you, there will always be so you know other things. You, the business simply because you are an entrepreneur doesn't mean that uh, you know uh, the life stops or nothing else happens around. Okay, so that is the time when we have to focus on what is urgent and what is important. Okay, what is urgent I, that has to be done now. Okay, and what could wait? It is important, but it can wait. And those things which uh, you know are not important, that is never ever uh, in my um, you know action plan. Okay, prioritization is very, very important. Postponement. So what are the things I can push, okay, towards the later part of the day or later part of the week or later part of the year, okay? So that is very important. Later part of the day, probably I, I want to go for uh, shopping, you know, uh, morning time is not for shopping. Probably I could do that in the, in the evening time. Uh, later part of the year, okay? Probably I was supposed to go on a holiday, okay? So that could wait until the end of the year, okay? So that's quite important. A postponement, what do I need to postpone for to realize my dreams, okay? Because the time is limited, 24 hours. That's what all of us has. And, uh, you know, we have to make sure that the things are prioritized uh, based on what is urgent and important. Next thing is accountable, okay? I need to make myself, myself accountable, okay? It's very, very important if I have an accountable, accountability partner or a buddy of mine, or I have a mentor, who can make myself accountable? That is that becomes very easy. Accomplishing uh, my dreams or you know getting into the action mode become very very easy because a lot of time we don't want to make ourselves accountable. Okay, and uh, you just want to just slip off and you just do things uh, in our own way. Because even though we we want to do uh, we want to accomplish certain things in my our life, so that's quite important that I have to have inbuilt accountability. Um, you know, a mechanism in place whereby I make myself accountable for the action, what is needed to be done today, okay? Then the last but not the least is reviewing, okay? What is reviewing? That means whatever the action plan I have, then I have to review, okay, on a daily basis. What is the review? That means what I planned and what I accomplished, okay? And then I have to review it my, myself to see that, uh, you know, why is that I hit the goal or I did not hit the goal, okay, of today, okay? Was it, did I have, uh, you know, because I disciplined myself, I hit the goal or did I did not discipline myself or there are certain things which came up and I could have, uh, you know, postponed those things. So why is quite important, okay, in review. And then how do I make sure that I keep doing, if uh, there's positive things I'm doing, keep doing what I'm doing or I could stop whatever my learnings, uh, why I did not accomplish my goal today, I could uh, fix it, uh, you know, uh, for tomorrow. Okay, so that is that is when, after I review my action plan and my real result, then I know what is the corrective measures I need to take. And then I have to re-strategize, okay? So that means I don't set the different goal or my dreams do not change. The destination remains the same, but the course of action changes based on what I learned from today, okay? I hope it made sense to you. And these are the five steps if we implement it in our own life, we can definitely realize our dreams, okay? With that, I am done. And this is Som Som Prakash. I'm a business and entrepreneurship coach. And if you need any help in any of your journey in the business, feel free to connect with me. I'm more than happy to help you guys out. With that, I'm done.